Okay guys, I'm rebuilding this 1991 Jeep YJ and this is a Chrysler 2.5 engine, four cylinder, and I've torn it down. What I'm going to do is check the bearing clearances on it. This, this engine has about 150,000 miles on it. I just want to see what it is. I've uh, purchased some plastic gauge and I've looked at my uh, Chilton's book and I know I need the green one because there's a certain allowable limit as far as the clearance between the bearing and the rod and the uh, crankshaft as well as the rod journals. So uh, what I'm going to do is check that and uh, just kind of show you guys what I've come out with on this uh, Jeep. Okay, I don't know if you can see it or not, but there's a little piece of plastic gauge that's laying diagonal across the bearing journal there. And what I'm going to do is put my main cap on there, torque it down to 80 pounds, and we'll, we'll measure from there. got it torqued. Let's take it off. Try not to move your crankshaft. All right, let's measure this together. Let's see what our clearance is. Okay. I have this little plastic gauge gauge here. And I hope this camera is picking this up, but anyway. Okay, so Lesson number one, be sure to look at see which side of the plastic age you're looking at. One of them is in millimeters, one is in inches. So this one is, so 20 thousandths is the ideal on this engine, is what it, the ideal uh, clearance. And this one is slightly less than 20 thousandths. It's actually around 18 thousandths. Plus, I know it's not 15. So, I'd say best guess would be 18 thousandths. Hey, I can deal with that. No need for bearings on this one. Number one. Awesome. According to the Chilton's manual, uh, 20 thousandths is ideal. So, this is this one, one thousandth slightly. It's 19 thousandths. So, very good. This is the number two journal, also 20 thousandths. Perfect. Journal three, 20 thousandths. Main journal number four, a perfect 20 thousandths. Good to go. Okay, this is the number one rod journal, 15 thousandths. It's actually perfect. Okay, number two rod journal, 
it's a little more than uh, 15 thousandths, but it's less than 20. So I would guess 18. So 15 to 18 thousandths. See, there's 15, and it's less than that, but it's uh, a little more than 20 thousandths. So it's around 17, 18 thousandths. Okay, let's look at the number three rod journal. There's 15 thousandths. Fifteen thousandths. That's a perfect fifteen thousandths. Right. Okay, this is the last one. Finally, this is rod journal number four, and it's right at fifteen thousandths. Maybe sixteen thousandths. We we'll call it sixteen. Sixteen thousandths for rod journal number four.